a large section of the Indian population still remains without access to banking services. Traditional financial service delivery models continue to struggle to serve low-income populations. A paradigm shift in payment infrastructure holds the promise of offering community banking for the underprivileged and underserved. This story of collaboration between India and the United States comes from the city of Gurugram in the Indian state of Haryana. Led by Abhishek Sinha, founder of Echo India Financial Services Private Limited, and Angela Schmuck, founder of ID Mission Limited Liability Company from Arizona, USA. A pioneer in financial inclusion, Echo India Financial Services Private Limited has developed a low-cost payment infrastructure for instant small-value financial transactions, primarily for migrant population. Many of them use a normal phone today. Our penetration on, on, on a normal mobile is more than 70% today. So, uh, so we wanted to create something where a normal, common man in India can use banking through, through his phone. With this in mind, Echo created a technology where a person first registers the mobile phone number with an Echo merchant. On receiving a confirmation, the user types in the transaction amount. And at the other end, the recipient gets a confirmation message once the money is credited to the account. There is no hassle of composing long text messages detailing account number, account type, bank name, branch code and the branch name, etc. A few easy clicks and the transaction is done. And that's, some, that's a technology which, uh, uh, which really uh, created a differentiator in the marketplace. The transactions are not just quick, they're safe and secure as well. We do a test transaction by sending one rupee to that account, right? So when you send a one rupee to the account, we get a response back confirming what is the account number and the account name are the same, right? Only once we get this confirmation, we allow the transaction to go through. Echo's innovation makes not just the life of the customer easy, but the person sitting across the counter also partakes of it. Echo's assisted model of banking allows for a quick, safe and secure financial transaction even though the merchant sitting across the counter is not in the actual banking business. The first and the most important is the, the, the portal that he works with or the interface that he works with has to be very user friendly and it has to allow the entire transaction in seconds. Leveraging existing retail shops, teleconnectivity and banking infrastructure, Echo makes cash in and cash out a simple process which is available from 7 in the morning to 11 at night. As of today, hundreds of crores of rupees change hands through thousands of Echo customer service points in over 16 Indian states. It's not respective to any particular bank. So, uh, you would probably typically do it for any bank and at a very, very fast pace. So, I think that's what differentiates you from a normal banking. Though seemingly simple, this innovation to move low-income populations to the digital space through digital banking has at its core multiple information technology innovation with one of them called the USSD. If you look at the USSD which is a unique supplementary services data, if you look at we one of the pioneers in uh, using this for the banking technology. What it does is that uh, if you send a, a code let's say a star 123 slash to a number, uh, you get let's say your details about your, about your banking or it allows you to do a recharge, uh, right? It can allow you to do all those without any kind of human intervention, right? Only through sending an SMS. Another echo innovation that has helped digital banking is the technology of the missed call. And I must say that the inventor of this technology is Echo. Echo has turned thousands of regular merchants into entrepreneurs throughout India. An Echo customer service point could be set up quickly alongside an existing business like an electrical shop, a pharmacy or a stationery store or at a local grocery store by downloading just two basic pieces of data from the Echo website. If you look at our business volumes that we do today currently, especially on the remittance part, we do anyway above 500 crores of business per month. Echo today is present in all major regions of India with 5,000 operational customer service points, CSP, in urban cities, processing financial transactions worth 70 million US dollars and acquiring 
500,000 new customers per month.